Hello again, my name is Jeff, and thank you for joining me on my latest restoration from Diecast Powder Coat and Restoration. Today we'll be restoring a Matchbox Thames Trader in the Singer livery. The model number is 59. They were produced between 1958 and 1960, some in the lighter green and some in the darker green. So this is the dark green. Okay, let's have our first look at it. Just the one rivet on the front. Very pretty solid condition, just uh, worn paintwork really. The wheels are also pretty rusted. So we're now going to drill out, drill out the one rivet. And it just clips out nicely. Please uh, accept the uh, rain on the roof. It's a miserable day outside. So I'm now using a deburring tool just to get the domed shape off of the axle. And then with a little bit of a struggle, due to them being rusted on, they do eventually come off by holding the axle with the pliers. So I'm now going to put those just in a little bowl of WD-40 for now. Now this is not my usual method of stripping paint. I normally use the media blaster but unfortunately as you wear outside it's chucking it down with rain so I'm going to use this uh, paint stripper which as I say I don't like using really and then using my dentistry tool the paint very quickly comes off And after a good wash, rinse, all the paint is gone. So the first run over now with the spinning wire brush. I've uh, drilled out the rivet post, so I'm now putting the base back on just to test the false fake rivet for size. And we now give it its first quick rub down with some acetone. Ready now for its first bake into the oven, just uh, 180 degrees, just for about 10 minutes, just to burn out the impurities. And whilst those parts are cooking, we'll get on and give the wheels a good clean with some soapy water. And after another quick rub down with some acetone, we start with the powder coating using a Electrostatic Magic Mid Green.
This is another little trick I've just uh, learned over the last few weeks. Is just use a little paintbrush just to dust out the grill slightly, so you do don't lose any detail when you're doing the chrome paintwork later. And finally, the base now in the electrostatic magic gloss black. Just finely coating it so we don't lose any of the details after powder coating. So after the usual 180 degrees at 10 minutes very pleased with the model and the grill has still kept its detail by dusting out the powder and the base has also come out very well and you can still see the letters okay now giving the axles the usual drill and emery cloth treatment just to get rid of the rust I've now reattached the axles and wheels. Uh, I haven't had to do anything to the axles. The wheels are on very tight still. And now for the false fake rivet. Just a little bit of super glue into the hull. And just drop the shaven down rivet in and push it down with one of my dentistry tools. I've now gone around with my chrome pen now and just done the grills, lights and bumper. Okay, there's the music now though, just the last two minutes ago. And now try and get the singer decals on. So I'm not the neatest person in the world, but uh, it does turn out all right. And then finally the S for the door. And that's it, she's finished. And with a quick top up of petrol, we'll have a look of what she used to look like. That was a very solid model, just the paintwork was a problem and the seized axles. Definitely people watched my last video last Friday with the bubble cars and the wife complained that I didn't do a pink one. Well I did. So there's the two bubble cars together, that's love for you. And let's see what she looks like now. Looking lovely in her dark green. The chrome on the grills, bumper, lights, and a little bit on the axles. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care out there, and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye for now.